Now that everyone has their Sign Up Genius all set up for conferences, I want to show you how you can go back in and view who has signed up for your conferences. So let's do that. All right, let's log in to Sign Up Genius. I'm already logged in here, so I've got the SH for Sarah Hoffman up here in the corner. So I'm going to click on that, and then it, it drops down this little menu, and you're going to click on your signups. So the one that you want to look at is the one that you've created. So it may default to invited to. If you see that, then you just need to click to um, the created one. And then here in my Whitmer High School conferences, uh, you have two choices. So you can do edit sign up. And then you have design, slots, settings, share, and view. So if you're looking to find that link again, um, you can do that in the share. And then here's your link. If you want to view who has signed up for your conferences, you just click this view button. And you are going to see here are all of the parents that signed up so far for my conferences way that I have it set up, this is what the parents will see. So I'm going to switch over here to another login. So right now, the way that they have it, if I just go to my conference link, they can, parents, other people that go to my Sign Up Genius page can see the other people that have signed up. Now, if you're fine with that, that's fine. Um, but I do want to show you the setting where you can turn that off. So if I go to my settings, you can see it says only names and comments are seen by participants. So if you click that real tiny little gear box, you can, there's, that will open up an option for you to hide names and comments from participant view. So I clicked hide participants and then I'm going to click save. It's real important that you save it or it won't work. And then you go down here, I'm going to view it from what the parents see. And I'm going to refresh that page since I did hit save. And then instead of seeing the other families that are signed up for the conferences and their comments, it just says already filled. So that is an important thing that you can go back in and you can set your settings so that it is um, hide names and comments from participant view. Now, of course, you'll be able to view it because it knows that you're logged in. It, it knows that. Um, but when a parent signs in, it just says already filled. So the second way to see who signed up, and this is probably the easiest way, like the morning of, you're there, it's Monday morning, you're getting ready for conferences, sign in to your Sign Up Genius account, click on your, um, your sign up and settings, that brings this drop down menu, go to signups, and then simply click on that conference link, click on it, and here are all of your conferences. So then you can just, you can fire up your Zoom meeting right here. So you can click on that and that'll open it in another tab and get that set. And then you can just sit and wait for the parents to come in. If you added a custom question to your Sign Up Genius, there's two ways that you can find that information. So I added a custom question to my Sign Up Genius because I wanted to know the student's name. So I have the parent's names, but I wanted to know the student name. So to find that information, the first way is on this page, this landing page where you have all your information, you can scroll up here to the top. And then you will see something that says add, edit, delete people. So if you click on that. So if you come down here and you click on, let's click on Tomcats. And I click on the edit. The little pencil is the edit key. Then it will bring up this conference. So this screen gives you a lot more information about that sign up. So you'll be able to see the comments phone number, um, name of student, and all the other information. So that's one way. 
If you need to retrieve these responses for all of your parents that signed up for conferences, the best way to do that is to create a custom report. So if you go to the reports tab here, so it looks like a little bar graph, and you click on that. So this brings you to the reports page. You're gonna click conferences, because this is what we need. We need to include the following signups, that's the conference, and then go down here and choose list of signups for export to Excel. Then we're gonna scroll down and create the report. Now this page pops up and then to view the report, you just click here on the little bar graph and you click view report. So then you have all of the information in one place. And you can just leave it up on your screen or you can export the data to a CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm just gonna put that on my desktop Sign up genius, click save. Now, of course, I would upload this to Google Sheets <laughs> because that's how I roll, um, but it's up to you. All right, so this is the report that it runs. Now, if you see this little, you, know, you get like little hashtags for the start date. If you just click here and then you can expand it and it will show the start date. Um, if you wanna expand everything, and this works in Google Sheets also, just click in this upper one where everything is highlighted, then double click there and it opens up everything so that you can see. So this is the report. And then, so it has a first name, last name, you got the start time of the meeting, end time, any comments that the parents put in, uh, when they signed up for the conference, their phone number, and then the name of the student. So that's how you run that report. So let me know if you have any questions about Sign Up Genius or anything tech related. Um, it doesn't have to be a Google thing. It can be Edpuzzle, it can be um, Flipgrid, anything. If you wanna set up a meeting time with me, that would be fantastic. All right, have a great day.